Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. James and Ray with you. You know, representing your club is one thing. Representing your country, quite another. And it's on display tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Slick feed. Feeds the puck over to Eichel. Into the offensive zone. Sends it down low. Centering pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Taken along the wall by Carlson. Slides the cross ice pass. Bergeron's got the puck. USA's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to Goudreau. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. He's working for better position and trying to whack the puck away at the same time, but too much, and he gets called for slashing. Canada's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You kind of muddle along in a 0-0 game, and now you got a real chance to break that score open. A first power play for him. Canada's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Giroux. And that's broken up. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. This power play hasn't had a chance to really get much set up. They can't get into the zone with any consistency. Now they're back, and they got to start again. Hellebuck's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Canada's won the faceoff. That's moved to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Good throws up at the box. Dished on over to Giroux. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They score! Austin Matthews clutch! USA's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kessel. USA's got the puck along the boards. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Takes the shot with the stop. USA's moving it up the ice. And a little body contact on that play. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. And it's a quick pass to Sagan. Team Canada's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him with the pad. Hellebuck's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period. one nothing the score. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Slides the puck over. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Quick feed to Sagan. Puck scooped up by Jones. And he takes the feed. And he regains control of the puck. Toll Saber was at the blade. No, regardless, tremendous. Pass broken up. Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. This is essentially hockey's version of the Hatfields and McCoys, right, Razor? Yeah, you come into these games, James, and you just, you know it's gonna bubble over somewhere. I used to just hope it wasn't involving me. Hey, 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. USA's looking to break out. Puck grab by Larkin. Passes on over to Carlson. Tries to get it to Wheeler. Tosses it on to Nurse. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't make the connection on the pass. Wheelers across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Crosby's got the puck along the wing. Taken by Marchand. Team USA's got the puck in their own end. First period nearly in the books here. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dowdy. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves the puck across to Carlson. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Great for all between the benches. Razor, give me a sense of how you see things so far. Canada's made this game pretty hard on themselves. They've had the puck a lot, but they keep turning it over. Don't turn it over. They're only trailing by one, however. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. USA's up one zip. Canada's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Team USA's got control of it now from their own end. Poked away at center by Bergeron. And he takes the pass. And that's just out of reach. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to Bergeron. Sends the pass over. USA's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. And now he angles it across to Kessel. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Looks to make a play over to Tavares. Canada's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Tavares. Team Canada's crossed the line and on the attack. Here's a chance! And that goes off a player in front. Hellebuck's gonna cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Team USA's ahead, 1-0. USA's won the draw. Getzel's got it along the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Canada's looking to break out of their own end. And he feeds it now to McDavid. Poked away in the offensive end. Maintains possession. And now he tries to get it across to Riley. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Canada's got it in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Petrangelo. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. On the attack along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Price freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Slides it diagonally to Scamkos. 
And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. McKinnon's team is trailing, and he's out there looking to make a difference for them, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively. Team Canada's won the draw in the neutral zone. And now he passes it to point. Team Canada's got the puck against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Stamkos. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. And he comes up with it. There's another call by the officials against the home team. You've been in these nights, I'm guessing. Yeah, and it's like you can't stop it. It's an epidemic. Every time somebody turns around, they commit a foul, and the official has to call it. Crosby's on the ice, and he knows his team is trailing here. If he can use his zone ability to turn things around for them, that could be the answer that they're looking for, guys. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick shot! Gives them nothing in front. Into the corner of the attacking area. Denies them in close. That flat-out reaction, James. That puck is coming at the goaltender from the low slot. There's not much time to think. Position, reflexes, save. Here's a short pass to Dowdy. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Here comes the official's call. You can see the frustration on the bench beside me here. This is just not an opportune time to take that penalty. A little four-on-four four coming up here. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four-on-four four come into the game. What is apparent when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it until the great chance opens up. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Team USA's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. USA's got it behind the net. And he slides it quickly to Goudreau. Team USA's got it along the wall. Dowdy's up and ready to join the play. Team Canada's PK unit gets their man out of the box. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. With play underway here in this third period, we take it down to ice level in our own Ray Ferraro with his thoughts. Canada's possession numbers are great. The analytics community, they love this. However, they're not getting any chances. James, that puck's got to get into the middle of the ice. You're going to have to muck it up a little bit to score. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Hellebuck's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Team Canada's won the draw. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Hellebuck. Picked up along the wall by Carlson. And he takes the feed. USA's got the puck along the wall. Up along the wing. Off the left wing and into center. And now it's over to Crosby. Takes the feed at the point. Can't make it work. Quick pass to Crosby. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Hillebuck. USA's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, his Great hands, and you know that the player is confident when they can pull this move off in so tight. What a great play. 
and he finishes it by beating the goaltender. More than half the period left to play. USA's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. USA's got the puck against the boards. Blocked in front. And now it's grabbed by Goudreau. Turned aside by Price. Canada's gained possession along the boards. Tosses it to Tavares. Canada's on the attack. And it takes a shot. And there it is. Stop. He scores! Perfect timing. Well, they've been trying to get through, break through on this goaltender who's been running a shutout. Finally, they get one. Canada's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you've got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. McDavid's won the draw. Team Canada's moving it along the wing. Team USA's got the puck. Moves it over to Kessel. Feeds the puck across to Gensel. And that's poked away by Riley. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Quick feed to Kessel. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Canada's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Looks to pass it to Riley. Moves it to point. Great heads up play with the stick by Gensel. Can't find his man. Angles it over to Stamkos. Slides that one right across the blue line. Hellebuck's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Team Canada's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Pokes the puck away. Here's a short pass to Stamkos. Slides the puck down low. Unable to reach that one. Here's a backhand. Denies him again. Great positioning. Once he makes that first save, he's got to be in position to make the second. Well done. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by McKinnon. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Puck picked up by Wheeler. Shot! And he makes the save. Big save by the goaltender once again. Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. Bergeron's got it against the boards. Here's a chance. Makes a save. Hellebuck's been terrific tonight. I mean, I don't know what more they could ask from him in goal. He has been excellent under deluge at times. But his team's in the game because he's been so good. Quick pass to Marchand. Canada's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Oh, and it misses the net. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. And look at this. We've got a 2 on one Quick feed to Pavelski. Poked away at center by Bergeron. Moves it to Nurse. Team Canada's got the puck now. And the save. Save made by the goalie. And there's the horn. You might say save by the bell as they hang on for victory. Team USA's got the win. Did you like how they got it? For the most part, I did. They played from in front. Once they got the lead, they defended it. Would have liked them to be maybe a little bit more aggressive, but hey, can't be perfect. Well, we had a great night of action on the ice, and we hope you certainly enjoyed it from your viewpoint, from all of us. Ray, Carlin, I'm James. See you next time.